Driving on the snow, pretty cool. Like, it's pretty cool, but what, what we're gonna do instead is Alice is gonna drift around this course, and then uh, you can see there where you can ski down. I'm just gonna come around, and as he's drifting, flip over the Challenger, do a backflip. So, it'll be awesome. We are in Winter Park, Colorado at the Mary Jane Ski Resort where Rocky Mountain Redline has turned this parking lot into a snow cross course. We are testing a ton of different vehicles. There is a Toyota RAV4 Adventure, a Honda Passport, Mercedes GLE 450 and C300, Dodge Challenger GT, a Jeep Wrangler Sahara, an Acura RDX A-Spec, and a Buick Envision. We're testing them in all different sorts of conditions, every kind of mode, sand, sport, Sport Plus, snow, obviously, to see how these cars handle in the winter weather. All right, we're getting in line to do our first run of the course. I'm in a 2018 Wrangler Sahara with the two liter. It is a balmy three degrees out right now. All right, I'm flooring it, flooring it, flooring it, the two liter. All right, now we're turning a bit. Whoa, sliding around a little bit. There we go. We got the four high on auto. The Sahara is the only one with four high auto. So now we're coming around these corners. This is a sharp turn, so I have to slow down a little bit. And I'm floored right now. It's just taking a little while to get up to speed there. There we go. What a what a way to spend your uh, your Tuesday morning. We're gonna hop at the Rav4 Adventure next, and we are in snow mode. So we're gonna do two runs in the Rav4 Adventure. I can tell you right now, just sitting in this, I really dig this. I think it's really cool. All right, here we go. I have floored it. It's beeping at me, but it's uh, accelerating better than the Jeep did. Let's see how it turns. Woohoo! Yikes! <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, it's gripping nice. I like this. It definitely is a, uh, quicker than the Jeep. And yeah, around that big turn there too, a lot better than the Jeep. View Vision. Here we go. Okay, this is taking a little. A little while to get there. All right, let's go around here. Woohoo! Come on, I'm floored right now. It's taking a bit. Come on, come on. So here we go. Not, ah, oh, come on. That was not good. That was not a good turn. I think all of these vehicles have winter tires on as they should in a winter driving program. Winter tires, man, they'll save your life if you need to stop real fast in the snow. At least that's my experience so far here. Okay, in the Challenger GT, <laughs> yeah. It might be all wheel drive, but it is not meant for snow. Oh man, it's fun though. On the, uh... whoa, on a road, I don't know. Way better than a normal Challenger. <sighs> Definitely not as good as some of the uh, other vehicles we have here today. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. God, no! <laughs> oh, ah, no! Went too far, went out of the box, so I lost. All right, so what we're doing right now is a kind of like a drag race uh, stopping challenge. There's two parking boxes down at the other end. So what we do is just floor it like a drag race, but at the end you have to stop within the box. So I beat the Acura RDX by a mile, but because I stopped too late, I slid through the box and lost.
All right, Chris, where are we where are we at right now, man? So right now we're at Georgetown. Yesterday we did a bunch of uh, snow driving in a parking lot up in the mountains. Uh, today we are on a frozen lake and we're doing ice driving. It is pretty windy here. It is also very cold. Sun has not come up over the mountains yet. Uh, yet. So we get gusts of wind every now and then that just completely blow <laughs> the course away. <laughs> I am in the RAV4 adventure. I'm in snow mode, just regular drive mode. It's going to be the tightest, the safest for like an ice conditions, most control. Um, and we're going to push it and do this slalom course and see how we do on the ice. All right, off we go. Wind is picking up a little bit. We're going around the first cone. I'm gonna use this little patch of snow to turn here. <laughs> Sliding a little bit. Second cone, there's another patch of snow here. There we go. The snow mode really does uh, keep things pretty tight, so you're not gonna slide a whole bunch. Obviously, we are on ice. We'll pick up some speed, and I'm just gonna slam on the brakes, full stop. Here we go. All right, so now we're in the Wrangler Sahara. We have the four high auto on. Yesterday I was a little underwhelmed by this car. If I had to uh, be honest with you, the um, two liter is a, a bit underpowered. Four wheel drive obviously is good. It is a Jeep Wrangler, so it can handle that. But it, I think it might be better suited to off-roading and rock crawling than, than something like this. Here we go. Going around this first turn, there's, whoa. Yeah, the Jeep gets sideways quickly. Ah, very quickly. <laughs> whoa, yeah. Yep, we're just, gonna, we're just gonna do a donut because there's no saving that one. Yeah, wow. All right, do a nice little 360 there and we're back on the course. Here we go. I'm not even really aggressively driving right now. Oh, and try to get it around. Oh man, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> you know what? We'll just do another 360 because I'm not, I'm not like flooring it at all. I'm just driving, you know, like, like I was driving with the other vehicles and uh, this thing is sliding all over the place. When you think of a Jeep Wrangler, you think of a vehicle that can handle almost any terrain that you can throw at it. Clearly, the ice is not <laughs> included in that terrain list. The biggest takeaway is obvious. Sometimes all-wheel drive just isn't enough. Snow ice modes are going to be your friend when things get slippery. But if you want better control of your car in the winter without having to buy a new one, throw some snow tires on your wheels and you'd be amazed at the difference.